Since coming to power, President Muhammad Buhari has left no one in doubt in his determination to reinvigorate the nation's economy, fight corruption and impunity, as well as address the issue of joblessness and its attendant consequences on national security and stability. The meeting with prominent businessmen in the United States and beyond therefore provided the opportunity for President Buhari and his team to answer questions on all issues agitating their minds and also reassure them of genuine collaboration and cooperation anchored on the new spirit of change in Nigeria. Participants at the closed-door meeting said the interaction, which also touched on governance and key sectors of the economy, was frank and promising to both parties. The Americans have high expectations as to what is possible under President Buhari, given his personal pedigree, uh, his reputation, his commitment to fighting corruption and putting an end to impunity. So listening to them one after the other, you could see a renewed excitement, a renewed hope that this time around we have um, a captain you know, who can lead us to destination. I'm happy as a Nigerian that you know, the world, we've regained some recognition around the world. I think the president's response to each of the issues shows that he's quite at home with all the issues, he's aware of the challenges. Uh, but it's demonstrated that he has the will to deal with those challenges. This is just the beginning of a series of many other meetings that are to follow behind. And I'm sure at the end of uh, the meetings that are going to be held by different uh, parties and sectors, uh, a lot of gains will be accessed by the country in terms of uh, trace, cooperation, collaboration, security and fighting corruption. The meeting was also attended by the United States Under Secretary of State for African Affairs, Linda Thomas Greenfield. President Buhari is also expected to be hosted to a dinner by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and Corporate Council for Africa. In Washington, D.C., Adam Musambo, NTN News.